Many people don't know there's actually more than one way to grip a mouse. Most users naturally find their grip without thinking about it. And while I'd say most mice are aimed at a wide variety of grip styles, there are a few that are aimed for just one. This is the ha! Ah! This is the Master Mouse MM530. And this is the Master Mouse MM520. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Meld. So I contacted Cooler Master a few weeks ago about getting their new half case for my upcoming Ryzen build. Unfortunately, they weren't able to accommodate that offer due to its late release, but they did have a couple gaming mice, mouses, uh, wh whatever, they wanted to send me for a review. I took them up on the request and while I was sent them, I made sure they knew I'd give my honest take. So first, let's go over some of the similarities of these two mice. When it comes to the hardware inside, both the MM530 and MM520 are very similar wired mice, offering DPI up to 12,000, Omron switches rated to 20 million clicks, 7 programmable buttons, and made from the same materials as well as costing the same $49.99 US. Both have nearly identical boxes that do look nice in their elegant design. Unfortunately, neither the MM530 or 520 are for left-handed use, given the nature of the grip types. The curves and button placement are very clearly for right-handed users only. Continuing with the similarities, they share nearly identical placement of their RGB LEDs, with the MM520 having an extra strip at the bottom. Both also use the Cooler Master Portal software. All you have to do is install it and then install the piece of software for that particular peripheral. Then you're able to change macros, LED color, and effects with relative ease. One issue I found was the difficulty in getting the LED color to stick after accepting it. It likes to move back to the initial color and effect, especially once I exited the application. Other than that though, the software is well done and simple to operate. Before I get into the differences of each mouse, I wanted to quickly go over the three different types of grips. The palm grip, claw grip, and fingertip grip. I don't think there could really be a mouse other than maybe a small one that accommodates a fingertip grip. But as you can see, a claw and palm grip are very different. And it's not just where your fingers rest, but also your hand itself. Now on to the differences. While it may have seen the similarities were many, trust me, these mice are incredibly different. When it comes to the MM520, it has all the curves and contours of a claw grip mouse, and then some. It actually has a nice place to rest your ring finger. I honestly have to admit that I thought I was a palm grip user, so I mostly use the MM530. Well, that was a mistake, because a few minutes after trying a claw grip on the MM520, I absolutely loved it. Each mouse feels so incredibly different, yet I like each of them in their own way, and it's very strange how your hand really wants to rest in the position the grip is intended for. The MM520 is perfectly designed to push your palm up, getting you to rest your fingers tilted at an angle. The rubbery feel is definitely nice in your hands, and allows you to get a nice grip. Probably one of my main complaints, but purely a subjective one, is how firm the key presses are. I really like it when the left and right mouse button have an easy actuation for fast reaction time. Some of you may feel differently, but this just goes to preference. Overall though, the Cooler Master MM520 is a surprisingly fantastic mouse. It can be ever so slightly slippery at first, but it's very fun to play with and made me rethink my preferred grip. Moving on to the MM530, while I do like it a good bit, for some reason it just, it feels kind of cheap. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Maybe it's because it's decently light? The rubber grip on the left side is really nice, but it's something about the texture overall. Maybe a cheaper feeling plastic? I don't know. I will say that it's definitely curved perfectly for a nice palm grip, but coming in at $50, it just doesn't stand out as much from the pack as I'd like. Of course, as much as it's not perfect, plenty of palm grip gamers will more than likely find it to be an excellent mouse. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what to expect from Cooler Master's new mice lineup. And I know some of you may wonder which you'll prefer, or which you should get. Unfortunately, it's a very personal choice. For those who don't know which grip they prefer, I'd suggest just trying to find these at Best Buy or borrow with friends, because honestly, you might be surprised as to which you like the most. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.